Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna review this uh, LED strip light kit. So I bought this kit um, because I wanted to add lights to this marquee letter. So um, in today's video, we are going to add these lights to the marquee letter and then I'll explain it, everything along the way. So let's get into the video. In this box comes with this box comes with two of these strips, LED strips, um, that can change into, I believe, four different colors. Or five different colors, yeah. Okay, so. Sorry. <laughs> so in the box, um, there's the LED strips, there is the power source, there is the moat and then um, this is the connector that you can either do Bluetooth, which that's the thing I like about it is that the LED uh, controller um, also does Bluetooth. So if you don't have the, if you don't have this, that's fine. Um, there's an app you can download and put it on your phone. So the, um, the LED controller has these connectors right here and those connectors connect to um, connect to the end. Here, these four little nodes right here. I don't know if you can see that. They connect. So there's like four little prongs. They connect right here into this, right? So there's an arrow, and you have to line them up. And then also, this right here is to connect your power source. Um, so the one thing I need to do, um, I got these numbers from a local vendor um, and I asked for them not to drill any holes in it because normally they put the, they put holes for the traditional marquee lights but I actually want to add the neon lights so what I want to do is um, probably drill a small hole down here either in this corner or the other corner um, and then try and mount try and mount this angle and then try and mount this in a way where you have access to both sides of the controller so I'll probably drill a hole here mount this on here then that way this can go get through there and then the um, power source can get on the other side so um, haven't figured that part out yet but once I do I'll let you guys know what I decided and then um, and then on the back of the strip is like a is a little piece of film that you peel off and then it'll stick to any clean surface. So we got our hole, we got our hole punched out. Um, I sand, I rolled up some sandpaper and sanded it down a little bit, and then I had to uh, sweep up all the sawdust. But that's where our um, that is where our lights are gonna come in at. And I think what I'll do is when the lights come in, go straight up. 
around the two and then come back down and have it finish like this way into the hole. Okay, so now I got this all around. Oh, got it all around. Oh my god, my focus is off. Hold on. Hold on, come on, focus. Okay, so now I got this all around. Um, and what I'm gonna do right here is cut the um, cut the wire halfway on these um, copper strips. So this is what um, connects. So if you're ever doing any cutting on a light strip like this, um, you want to cut on this to keep the circuit going. Because if you can see, there's these little circuit lines um, that keeps the color. So I'm going to cut this um, because it stops right about, perfectly stops actually. Um, and then this piece, I'm going to show you guys how I connect it in the back to the other number. Because I have, I have now have both numbers. And what I did was I put... One hole right here in the front of the two, and then on the other hole is in the back of the two. So that way, um, obviously they're gonna be together. And then even when they're by themselves, it's not really a big deal. Okay, so. Um, so I got my power source connected. Um, I got that plugged into the controller, the LED controller. And then I haven't um, haven't screwed it on yet, but it does have these two holes. If um, if you guys want to screw it on, I, cause I have I haven't screwed it on because I can't um, I can't decide where I want to screw it on. So, but I figured I'd just keep with the demo and show you guys um, how to connect it in the back. So, this is the um, that's my phone. <laughs> um, this is the back of the. This is the back of the first two and then the front of the second two. So this is the back of one, front of the other. So um, right now I have the four pins on the first two. And so that those four pins, I'm gonna actually, um, I'm trying to do this with one hand, hold on. So those four pins, hold on. <laughs> I really need like a small tripod. So those four pins are gonna connect into the controller and like that, okay? And you're gonna push that in as far as you can. And then this is, because it came in two rolls, um, this is for the other roll. But as you guys can see, I this is just the first roll and I was able to cover both. So this is like a 50, I think it was two 50 foot rolls. So I didn't even end up using the entire 50 feet roll for the two numbers so that's something to keep in mind um, if you guys are going to purchase they do have a 50 foot roll option so if you just want the one roll um, then you can do that as well but i think the connector is only one of these instead of two because of that and then um i purchased these as well these little um things that open up so as you cut the copper it um you can use these little pieces to connect so that's what i'm gonna do here hopefully i'll show you guys that with me. There we go. okay so so this one's open right and so um this one's open and then this side is already closed onto the copper of that side so what i'm going to do is basically I'm gonna, do, <laughs> I'm gonna do this without losing light. Um, so with this, you're going to take this copper end. You're gonna take this copper end right here and you're gonna put it inside. So there's a, there's a little groove at the bottom and a little lip that you have to get it under. And then it goes under these, um, these silver pieces right here. So you gotta make sure all four 
hearts are under the silver. Okay, this is coming. This is when I need a cameraman. Um, and you just push it in as far as you can. Um, if you cut it directly in the middle, you should be able to push the silver on top of the copper to cover it. And then you just close the clasp like that. And so now our, all of our connections. So the letters are connected together and then this is connected to the controller. So what I'm gonna do, get my phone out. Okay, so this has a little QR code on here. So what we're gonna do is, oh. Oh, I almost broke my phone, you guys. <laughs> ah. um, so what we're gonna do is you find your QR, however you scan QR codes on your phone. Find that on your phone. This does come with a remote too, so you don't have to do this, but um, I'm just gonna demo this just so you guys can see. And the QR code comes up, it'll say open browser. Then um, it'll ask you to pick Pick a method. I'm gonna pick Android because I have an Android. Um, obviously, I've already downloaded this once, but I'm gonna click download again. For those of you doing this the first time, it'll just say download. And then once it says file is downloaded, you're gonna click open. And then it's gonna ask you to install app. So the app is called Apollo Lighting. And then once you have the app installed, you click open again. And then it's giving you kind of a tutorial, but all these little tutorial things like this, which is cool, but I'm just gonna click okay. I already know how to use it. And then it's asking um, access to your device location. I'll just put while using app only. And then this power button is in the middle. And then um, you have like color presets down here. And then you have this color wheel right here. And I'm actually gonna get up and go to the front so then we can see how this works. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's the moment of truth. Okay, <laughs> I'm tripping. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Okay, so we have our, we have our app ready to go. So let's see. Ah. Oh, you guys, look at that. I mean, you can't really see it on the camera, but this is like a light greenish color. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. This is so awesome. <laughs> okay, then you um, you can adjust the colors, look. So I like using the app so you don't have to keep pressing buttons. You can just look at that. Look at this, guys. Do you see this? Do you see this? So the wheel is turning, the wheel is turning and the colors are changing. Round and around and around we go. Okay. Um, so then I got all these presets. Um, this is pretty awesome. This is pretty freaking awesome. So um, I'm using this for <laughs> graduation parties, but I mean, you guys, if you guys install these lights, you could pretty, I mean, this is pretty cool for your room too, if you had it in your bedroom. I mean, it's pretty dope. It's getting a little blurry for the camera. But anyway, hopefully you guys um, enjoyed that. Dang, there's like so, there's so many ways you could use this thing, guys. But um, yeah, I just thought this was super cool.